We are here in the second largest city in the state of Michigan, home to a lot of great museums, parks, entertainment, and lots of great food and beer too. Uh, hey everyone, Scott with Scott Man, and welcome to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It is great to be back here in Grand Rapids again. It is a very cool city here in the state of Michigan. We're located here along the beautiful Grand River, the largest river in the state of Michigan. It is so peaceful and tranquil here in the city. In this video, we're gonna be checking out a lot of cool things from exploring downtown to check out some different parks, see some different museums, even talk about how Grand Rapids is Beer City USA and also how Grand Rapids once was the home and where a former U.S. president was raised. Who was that president? Well, you have to watch this video to find out. So let's go check out downtown. And let's start off here in downtown Grand Rapids. Hey, where'd the sun go? Oh, well, when it comes to travel, it's like, yeah, can't plan the weather. <laughs> Anyway, so we're here in downtown Grand Rapids in front of the Grand Rapids City Hall. And the cool thing about the City Hall is that right in front you have this beautiful monument. This is La Grande Vitesse. This was designed by Alexander Calder back in 1969. It is quite a beautiful monument, I have to say. And over to the northwest of La Grande Vitesse, there's another cool monument. This is called Motu which was designed in 1977 by Marty Suvero. And its name is deri derived from the motto of Grand Rapids, Motu Vijet. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. But, it, it, but it's basically, it's Latin for, because of motion, it thrives. What's really cool about this monument too is that it has a little, bit, has a little tire swing too. And over on the other side of the City Hall and the Kent County offices on Monroe, you have the DeVos Place. DeVos Place is a huge convention center located here in Grand Rapids. It has an exhibit hall that's around 162,000 square feet, perfect for hosting a lot of big conventions. And also next door you have the DeVos Performance Hall, which is home to the Grand Rapids Symphony, the Grand Rapids Ballet, Opera Grand Rapids, and Broadway Grand Rapids. We're staying here at Rosa Park Circle. It's a beautiful park here in downtown Grand Rapids. And just over there, that is the Grand Rapids Art Museum. It is a very nice art museum located here in Grand Rapids. Unfortunately, it's closed today, the day I'm filming this, but at some point I'll have to come back and check it out though. But there's gonna be some museums I'll be checking out later in this video, which I'll, I will be able to go into. And over here we have the Van Andel Arena, which is a huge arena where you can see not only some, some performances, but also the Grand Rapids Griffins hockey team, which is a, a farm team for the Detroit Red Wings. I have to say, uh, 
Walking around downtown Grand Rapids has been quite a pleasure so far. It's been really cool walking around the beautiful downtown area. Lots of cool street art too, like even some right over here too. All right, let's keep on going. Downtown Grand Rapids is pretty cool, I have to say. All right, so let's head over to the other side of the Grand River and go check out some museums. With the fresh breeze, it feels great to walk along the Grand River where you get some beautiful, beautiful views of the of the rapids in the in the river and of course see the, the skyline of Grand Rapids. But now it's time to check out some cool museums that you can see here in Grand Rapids. With the first one being right over here, this is the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. This is a museum built back in 1981, which has a has a permanent exhibit dedicated to the to the life of the former US President. Gerald Ford, as well as his wife, First Lady Betty Ford. So let's let's head inside. Inside the museum, you have many cool exhibits highlighting the life of Gerald Ford, even going back to his early days when he grew up in Grand Rapids, and then later went to the University of Michigan, which he graduated from in 1935, and even played football for the Michigan Wolverines. And of course, later, he became the 30th president of the United States. And let's not forget about his wife, Betty Ford, which they get, both got married in 1948. And over to the side of the Presidential Museum, you have the final resting place of both President Gerald Ford and First Lady Betty Ford. That was a really cool museum. I, I really enjoyed walking around the Presidential Museum. And a little fun fact, a lot of the more modern U.S. presidents have their own presidential museum and library. Although, a little fun fact though, is that the presidential library for Gerald Ford is not in Grand Rapids, it is in Ann Arbor. But yeah, it would be cool to check out some of the other presidential museums too. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to do that at some point. Alright, so we're going to go check out another museum, I'm going to head that way next. Also in the museum, you have Anap Awan Park, which, which is, stands for Resting Place. As you can see, a couple of Native American mounds here too. And another museum located to the south of the Gerald Ford Presidential Museum, we have the Grand Rapids Public Museum. This is the Van Andel Museum Center. The Grand Rapids Public Museum has been, has been around since 1854 and is the oldest museum in Michigan. This building here though was built in 1994 and inside there are over 250,000 different artifacts. That was a pretty cool museum I have to say. Yeah, but Grand Rapids has a lot of cool museums right here in the city. But there's another really cool attraction. In fact, it's one of the most popular in all of Grand Rapids. It's a little bit further away from downtown, but still part of the Grand Rapids area. So we'll head over there next. And here we are at one of Grand Rapids' most finest attractions in the whole city. This is the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. This beautiful park opened up in April 1995 after being funded for about 13 years by the West Michigan Horticultural Society. This is, again, one of the top places in Grand Rapids to visit. Let's, let's go check it out. Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park 
is ranked in the top 45 most visited art museums in the world. There is a pretty cool art exhibit here in, indoors, but the biggest attraction is outside. What's really cool is that this is mostly an outdoor art museum. We have around 300 different sculptures all throughout the, all throughout the park. Especially if you walk around Sculpture Park, where you see some amazing sculptures. One of my favorites here is this gigantic horse. What a beauty this is. There is also a very beautiful Japanese garden here too. It is really cool just to walk around the beautiful Japanese garden, take in some uh, amazing sights here. Near the front, you have the Lena Meyer Tropical Conservatory, as well as some other indoor gardens where you have different arid gardens, the Victorian garden, and even some carnivorous plants. These gardens are absolutely beautiful. I really enjoy checking out all the different sculptures here. But it's not the only cool piece of art you can see in Grand Rapids. We're gonna go check out another cool piece of art, so don't go anywhere. And over here, in this beautiful historic neighborhood of Grand Rapids, we have another beautiful piece of artwork. This is the Meyer May House. This was built back in 1908 and was designed by legendary architect Frank Lloyd Wright. This beautiful house was later purchased by Steelcase Incorporated in 1985 and they heavily renovated the house and opened it to the public two years later. What's really cool is that you can go on free tours inside. But one thing to note is that you need to book well in advance because especially on the weekends, spots for the free tours fill up fast. Now that we have seen some really cool things here in Grand Rapids, now it's time to go get some food and get something to drink too. And we are here at the Founders Brewing Company, one of the many breweries here in Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is a nickname, or one of its nicknames is Beer City USA. It's home to a lot of breweries, so if you're, if you're a beer drinker, Grand Rapids is a paradise for you. Grand Rapids is a great spot for amazingly great beer and also a lot of great food as well too. I even cover it in greater detail in a separate video. Now what's cool about Grand Rapids is that you have all sorts of different breweries here. Like I'm here at Founders Brewing Company, which is one of the top breweries here in Grand Rapids. Opened up, opened up back in 1997 and some of their beers even place in the top 100 in the world. But of course, not only that too, but you also have other breweries here too, like the like the Great Lakes Brewing Company. Oh, sorry, I meant Grand Rapids Brewing Company. The, the B.O.B., Harmony Brewing Company, Schmoe's Brewing Company, etc. So if you're looking for a great beer, definitely have to come to one of these great breweries. Coming up next in this video, we're going to be heading over to check out some different parks throughout the Grand Rapids area. And welcome to Millennium Park. This is a very large park, technically located in nearby Walker, Michigan, which is one of the suburbs of Grand Rapids. Millennium Park is one of the largest urban parks in the United States. And it's mostly in the city of Walker, although it also touches a little bit of Granville, Wyoming, and also Grand Rapids. But what's cool is on the western side of the park, you got a lot of marshland, a lot of picnic areas, and of course over here you got the you got the beach, although you have to pay a small fee to, to, to go to the beach, as well as the nearby splash pad. So on a hot summer day, it's a great place to cool off. And over here you have the DeVos Family Boathouse where you can rent a kayak or a canoe. And of course, let's not forget paddle boats. What's also cool about the park is that there's a whole different section to the to the east of the park too with so many cool hiking trails. Let's see where they're next. And we're here at the eastern part of the park and we got this beautiful pavilion over here. But what's cool about Millennium Park is that there are over 18 miles of trails in this park. And yeah, my favorite part of this park are all the different trails. And it's got some trails that take you right by the Grand River too. So let's go explore the trails.
I have some pretty impressive views of the Grand River from this truss bridge. Very peaceful here. This has been such a beautiful hike this morning. Although the sun's not out or anything, but it's very pleasant now just to look at the different ponds, lakes, and all the different vegetation in here. And of course, all the different woods or forested areas. But uh, definitely check out Millennium Park when you're visiting Grand Rapids. But there is one more park we're gonna check out that's much closer to the city. And we're here at our last stop here in our visit to Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is Riverside Park. We have over 100 acres of baseball fields, disc golf, a disc golf course, soccer fields, a lot of picnic areas, areas where you have some grills, and of course the Grand River. Obviously this is not the Grand River here, this is a little marsh area, but we'll see the Grand River just in a little bit, because it's just over that way. But I figure, check out one more park that's a lot closer to Grand Rapids before we conclude this video. And here is the Grand River. Quite a pleasant sight here in this park. Although the only downside is that you can hear the Howie 131 freeway on the other side of the river. <laughs> that's all right. But over here, you get a really cool view of downtown Grand Rapids. You can see the skyscrapers out that way. But yeah, I've had such a great time in Grand Rapids this past weekend. I got to see a lot of cool sites around downtown, check out a few different museums, both indoors and outdoors. Have some food and beer at the same time, although I'll have that in, a greater, in greater detail in a separate video. And also check out some different parks here too. Yep, uh, if you're looking to check out some really cool things here in the state of Michigan, definitely check out Grand Rapids, a very cool city. Highly recommend. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to, to uh, click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new, new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott of the Scott Man Sayo here from Grand Rapids, Michigan.